Recovery Daily podcast. I'm a grateful recovering alcoholic and stroke survivor. And these are five things I wish someone told me before I started these new chapters in my life. Honestly, I wouldn't have listened. I had to learn by doing, and often it was the hard way. So here we go. Number one, gratitude. Building a habit of gratitude by acknowledging three things to be grateful for each day has dramatically improved my quality of life. This daily habit has taught me how to seek and celebrate positivity, even on days that kind of suck. And it has stretched my capacity for recognizing the good, the growth, and the serenity that actually lives just beneath the surface in our everyday lives. Starting about the second year of sobriety, I got consistent with doing this daily. There are days when I don't feel like it. It feels like a chore, and that's when the practice is most critical. It's those days that solidify the habit and train my brain to find the light in the darkness. After my stroke, I have found gratitude for simple things that, um, that are kind of on the surface that I overlooked because I was always moving so quickly. Now that movement triggers my head, I actually stop uh, a little more often and smell the roses. It's kind of a synchronicity, don't you think? Number two, humility. Humility was initially mistaken for defeat in my eyes. I wish I understood earlier that it's a sign of acceptance, willingness, and strength. Embracing humility has been really pivotal for my emotional sobriety and professional growth. It's taught me grace and helped me to accept my imperfections. When I start feeling jealous or envious, I now recognize it's a signal to reflect and work on myself rather than others. Number three is acceptance. For me, acceptance meant stripping away the layers of lies I was telling myself and the mask that I was wearing. Accepting my alcoholism and later my disability post-stroke meant starting the grieving process for what I'd lost and accepting the irrevocable changes to my life. I'm still navigating through acceptance, learning to live with my disability without assigning blame or asking, why did this happen to me? My only recourse is really to close my eyes and pray for acceptance. Vulnerability is number four. Fear and anxiety controlled my life for 42 years. I felt trapped by these emotions and in sobriety, I found courage to lean in and embrace them. In the past, my instinct was to hide and shrink and get smaller when I felt fear and anxiety creeping in. I wanted to escape from those uncomfortable feelings, but now I've learned to do the opposite. I've trained myself through exposure that I am capable and I'm brave. And courage is not the absence of fear, but the willingness to act in spite of it. Number five, discomfort. This is the culmination of all the others. Embracing discomfort began when learning to do everyday tasks sober which initially was a constant state of discomfort for me, given my history with drinking. Gradually, I progressed to facing social situations like holidays, weddings, happy hours without drinking. Now, at the first hint of discomfort, I honestly dive right in with cautious enthusiasm Seeking out challenges like public speaking, doing this, and welcoming them as opportunities for growth. So I hope by sharing these principles that they may offer guidance to others so that they don't have to learn things the hard way like I have. Thanks for listening.